Hello everyone, Namaste, welcome to Astraluck. If you want to book a personal reading with me, visit astraluck.com. The links are mentioned below. And all other donation, uh, Amazon shop, everything is mentioned below in the description. So let's get started with today's reading. This is annual reading for the sign of cancer. I'm going to link uh, one video here in iCard. If you have not watched it, I request you to watch it. It's annual reading for Global Perspective 2021. That is the full version of how an annual reading is uh, done by me. If you want to have a personal reading with me, because this is only a the second half of it, what I'm going to do here is uh, the monthly breakup just to save on time. But if you order a personal annual reading, you will get a long form of reading, which is done for the global perspective, which is linked on the I card before. Uh, uh, if you just go on the top rightmost corner, there is an I button there. Uh, so the video is linked there. So please watch that. It will be uh, helpful for you if you want to have a personal reading just for you the annual reading and whenever you order that it starts from that month till next 12 months so let's get started so what do we have for january we have snake we have key. Luckily, you have a key. Sorry for shaking the camera. And then bear. So, there is a tricky person in your environment in January. But then you also have uh, the knowledge. Not the knowledge, but some luck. Some thing in your pocket which actually helps you to access someone who is quite caring, who is quite knowledgeable, who is also quite senior to you to handle this tricky person. So which is nice. I see that you will find a solution very quickly the moment this person tries to approach you with their uh, trickery and they try to uh, tell you some lie or they try to mislead you. Uh, you immediately find it out because of thanks to the key here and then you also have access to someone very senior who is willing to take care of you who is willing to help you to guide you how to manage this person so on tarot we have five of abundance definitely the snake is trying to leave you in between what I feel is that the snake has promised you something in the past in 2020 to help you in a certain way. But in January, you come to know that this person is going to leave you in between their journey with you, whatever they have promised. And then eight of abundance, which is uh, you are willing to work on your own and you are willing to work hard because you know uh, how to finish something that you have started and you have guidance and support from someone that the beer card shows here bear cards and then we have six of thoughts that you are willing to move on you don't want to stand stuck you don't want to feel miserable you don't want to keep mourning about someone who is trying to betray you which is fantastic i i really like that attitude something that i personally like to do in my own life which is very interesting to see here in the cards although i haven't a uh, uh, different kind of energy in cancer uh, it's not my direct ascendant or moon or sun so yeah nice nice to see that now we have garden we have birds and this is february and then this is sun so whoever tried to trick you in the past is now coming uh, that uh, whole Incident is coming in public now. It's like somebody who tried to destroy your career or your aspirations or your relationship. Something, whatever happened, whatever the incident was, the incident itself is coming in public and people are talking about it. But 
it's for good because it's opening up new dimensions for you. Now you're able to see what are the new possibilities in life, how you can move forward in life. So it is very good uh, that things are com coming up in open and is being discussed because this card is the card of discussions and communication. And along with the garden, it's telling that it's discussed very openly without any uh, hesitation, without any restrictions. And uh, if you are an introvert kind of person, you might feel little uh, uncomfortable about all these discussions. But then I would say that please go with the flow because the sun here is promising that there's a lot of light that is going to fall on you and you will be recognized how you manage to come out of this betrayal without uh, making a lot of fuzz about it people will recognize you people will support you especially this bear card is telling me that yes uh, you took someone's guidance you took someone's support but then uh, with someone's support you did not just crib you did not just uh, started crying or started moaning you actually did something to come out of it which will be actually appreciated by a lot of people what do we have here we have helper of emotions and then we have messenger of thoughts a lot of people coming here someone with a lot of emotions and then two of actions so what i see here is that once uh, you see the future, you see the future uh, and you shine like a bright star, uh, there are people who are trying to sympathize with you, empathize with you. And then there are people who want to bring new opportunities. So many people are bringing a lot of opportunities for you right now. And then what I feel here is that you are taking your time to decide which opportunity is better for you with you just don't want to rush into another classic uh, snake kind of a person so you are like okay whatever it is i don't care uh, about the opportunities i want to see who is a reliable person here i will work with the reliable person rather than uh, running after opportunities you don't want to do that and you understand at this point in time so which is good february there's also mercury retrograde that is also probably a reason why you are taking time this two of action is telling me that yes you are taking time you don't want to decide things so goes pretty logically with the astrological uh, significance also now let's see what do we have in March. We have Scythe. We are cutting through something. Messenger. And a man. A man is trying to send you a lot of messages. A lot of like some opportunities that has come. And there is a man who is constantly chasing you. That my opportunity is the best. You need to accept it. You cannot ignore me and you will decide to very suddenly let go of that man from your life you just don't want this person in your life because you feel that this man is probably not worthwhile although uh, there's nothing that is revealed in these three cards why are you letting go of this man and why are letting go of all the news that this person is sending to you uh, maybe the tarot will reveal that three of emotions. There's a lot of uh, celebration in your mind, in your attitude, in your whole perspective. Obviously, if there is uh, something that you are shining like the sun, then you will be celebrating it. There's a lot of celebration going on. Then we have gratitude of action or guardian of action, sorry. Uh, which also tells me that you are quite, uh, you have a lot of gratitude for how things turned out for you, but then you really don't want to repeat the same mistake trusting the people who have tried to betray you in the past. Possibly this man has betrayed you in the past and now trying to rebuild 
the, uh, his relationship with you because now you have a lot of opportunities on your plate and then you somehow have a lot of gratitude for what you have right now but then you don't want to uh, just trust this person again you just don't want to get into uh, this person's energy without building your boundaries without building your protective shield and then we have helper of action which is telling me that there is a certain kind of energy which is uh, trying to protect you from this person which is not allowing you to there's another person who is trying to win your heart who is trying to take your attention and is trying to build something with you and you are more interested on that side on the other person with who is more action oriented who uh, speaks and works in the same way like if they say something they try to finish that they don't like to just speak something and then forget it and then you are left clueless it's not like that you find someone like that and you want to spend more time with such a kind of person so you are ignoring this person right now who is coming from your past which is good so that is for March. Now let's see what do we have for April. We have new beginning. We have a child. We have tower. Wow. And we have fox. Okay, it looks like you have a new beginning in work front because tower and fox combination talks about career and long term career perspectives and career also. And a child talks about new beginnings. So I feel that somewhere. On your career, you have a new beginning and something which is very promising on the long run. That's how it looks like when you are starting it in the month of April. And let's see what the tarot has to say. A win-win solution. Something like maybe you have compromised with this person. You have started working with this person also because... The idea may be quite good with this opportunity, but you don't trust this person. So you started working with this person in a very uh, restricted way with a lot of boundaries and guard on the hindsight. You are just trying to maintain distance while doing the work. And then you are also focusing a lot of... Uh, energy for this person who is actually delivering a lot of things at least showing uh, promises so you have created a win-win situation for you that you are working with both the persons right now that's why you have potential of long-term success and then we have six of emotions which is uh, telling that somewhere uh, this person from the past is trying to bring on something from some kind of memory from the past some pleasant time that you have shared to rebuild that trust so that is going on on a parallel level but then we also have healer of action so this person is trying to healer of action actually reminds me that the helper of action is also chasing healer of action someone someone who is uh, very quickly with very high momentum is trying to finish their work trying to finish their uh, thing so this new person in your life who has come in march is also trying very hard to leave a mark in your life in a positive way so they uh, it's like people are competing for your attention right now and you are because of that you're using their positive attention as a tool to build up your life in a more positive way you are not using them because uh, you never ask them to give you that attention but when they are giving that attention to you you are using that attention for best of your uh, growth so that is a very good thing 
So that was for April. Now let's see what we have for May. Crossroads, Stars and Heart. Okay. Okay. In May, there would be a time where both of them will come confront for attention. They would realize that you are spending time with two different people. Maybe it's like you are working on two different professions at the same time with two different people and each one of them would realize that, okay, you are spending half of your energy in something else. You are possibly doing some kind of home business with this person and a professional office kind of work with another person. They will find out or maybe uh, these two people who were... Uh, putting a lot of attention towards you in the previous month, they both will realize about each other. And if it is romantic attention that they were giving on you, they, I'm talking about romance because of this heart card, but this is a general reading, so it cannot be romance for everyone. So somewhere it is like you are on a crossroads and you are not able to decide that... Uh, who is more appropriate for you at this point to go on one direction because somewhere it is like you are sailing on two boats and you you are feeling a little more exhausted and the planetary alignments in the sky is also like that that they are suggesting that you may just choose one where your heart is, where your emotions are high, somewhere between these two people. Don't worry about the past experiences with one of those two person who is trying to uh, pull you down in January. Don't worry about it, but see where your heart is in terms of where you feel a little more comfortable. Now you have spent enough time with both of them. So, it the tarot card says embrace those around you, which is the high hierophant card, which is saying that choose the direction which where you have more acceptance from the other person and where you feel spiritually more in, inclined because of the hierophant. It I feel that spiritually more in, inclined is more appropriate option also because of the star cards, which is almost like. The planetary influences will also create such kind of situation that one person will be doing more better with you in terms of relationships and than the other, and you will feel that, and you can you need to go in that direction. And then we have celebration. You will celebrate with that person. You will find something culminating with one of those person you might be doing something some kind of work and you'll see that something has been done successfully between both of you and you are getting rewarded for that that is again a cue for you in which direction you need to go and then five of actions which is like you need to protect yourself from the other person because the other person might not feel very good that you are choosing one over the other uh, uh, another person so be careful about delivering the message so that's uh, all for me let's see what we have for june june we have wow we have a message from someone who is in abroad or some other city and the message is all about money and abundance and luck and opportunities about money. Or you are traveling for business to increase your abundance because you received a letter or invitation for travel to visit someone for uh, money and abundance. It could be seen in multiple ways, the letter, ship and abundance, which is all about either receiving some information through letter about abundance or traveling to someone after receiving an information uh, for abundance to increase your abundance let's see what the tarot have tarot cards have to say nine of action it's like even though this letter is coming from someone you trust you still want to build some kind of boundaries 
accepting the invitation to travel or taking that information and moving forward. You still want to build some boundaries so that you are more successful while and I think you will travel because this is also the uh, chariot card which is talking about travel. So you are open to success, but then you want to travel at your own terms. Possibly it's the COVID restrictions also. So you want to travel with certain kind of boundaries that you would travel to on these so-and-so locations and you will not travel to some other places because of the uh, COVID restrictions and uh, comfort that you have. So you will build some kind of boundary before making that decision. And then we have the review and contemplation card which is the judgment card saying that uh, although the success is yours right now but it is not the just the last success there's still more to come you need to receive even more bigger amount of abundance that's what i see this is just the initiation of the success that you are supposed to receive so that is for june and let's see what do we have for July, we have stock, we have moon, and we have anchor. So there's a big transformation coming up for you in July, which is very emotional. And this transformation is going to stay for very long. And this uh, may be painful for some of you because of the emotional angle this transformation and for some of you it might be like very logical and very uh, happier that you have been waiting for this transformation and uh, at last has, it has come so it can go either ways because it's the general reading I'm not going to tell you that it's a very positive transformation or a very painful transformation but whatever the transformation is it's going to last for very long. Then what do we have here? Six of Abundance, which is telling me that the transformation will bring you a lot of uh, financial gain uh, from someone whom you can, you always had the equation that I'll give you something and I'll expect something in return. Some kind of past relationship which always worked in this kind of relationship that uh, I want to, if you, take a favor from you but then I'll give you something in return I just don't want to take a favor from you you always find certain kind of people who always calculate everything that uh, they understand that because if you take some energy from someone then you need to give some energy in return so you a transformation is going to happen with a person of that kind someone whom you knew uh, who always behaved in that way and then there is 10 of action, which is a uh, lot of burden being taken because of the transformation. Emotional burden is coming on your head right now because you somehow feel that uh, you, this transformation is very much required. But then in past, you uh, did not acknowledge this transformation, which was coming very naturally and now it's almost like that it has come in a full blown way because you ignored a certain kind of transformation in the past so now it's coming like a burden an emotional burden so for most of you this transformation will be like you need it but then you were always trying to avoid it and now it's forced upon you by the universe and then we have the seven of thoughts, which is uh, that there's a sudden change of situation, which will completely clear uh, the miscommunication in your mind, which is almost like you felt that maybe there's a lot of uh, activities going on in this relationship because somebody is trying to trick you, somebody is trying to pull you down or somebody is trying to change you uh, but then anyhow that change has come already and now you feel that this change has 
to stay for very long time. Now, you possibly in the past when this person with whom you had this kind of relationship, this person tried to actually explain you a lot of things. You thought that they are trying to trick you. They are trying to play politics with you and something like that. And now... Uh, whatever they said is coming true and you're feeling burdened and now you see that whatever is coming true will stay here for very long. So that is for July. And then we have in August cross, house and lilies. Okay. Something is going to Test your patience in your home environment, your family, your personal family environment. And possibly the transformation that came in the last month, which is going to stay in long term, will also affect your family environment and will keep growing. The transformation or the burden will keep growing over the period of time and affect your family environment in positive or negative way mostly it is positive because lilies are very positive uh, in nature and this card itself is very positive in nature but then it is a very slow and steady growth of that uh, transformation and somehow it the faith of your family on you will get tested and it will uh, somehow your family members will try to become little tough with you but slowly and steadily over the coming months or year or some years time they'll realize that it was the right thing that you did and they will behave normally it somehow some kind of stress will come with your family members that's what i feel but then it will get corrected over a period of time two of abundance uh, you will be juggling between two different kind of situations one is with family and something outside the family and it will require for you to behave in a very practical way it's the emperor card you really have to take sides now you cannot uh, be juggling so although you are just juggling from one uh, place to another but then people will expect you to take sides your family especially will expect you to take sides Either stay here or stay there, something like that. I don't want to get into the situation because it's a general reading, but then there would be a huge transformation and uh, something that has started in the last month now suddenly will put you in a very sudden situation that where you will have to take sides and uh, your family will get upset about it, but then later they will realize that Whatever you chose was the right thing. And they will accept it and they will continue to grow with you. So, sounds like a very tough transformation, but a healthy one over a long period. Now in September, we have ring, we have book, and we have clouds. So, some kind of contract which you don't want to disclose because of the confusion in the environment. You want to keep it hidden. So, uh, knowledge about certain kind of contract. You will get into a certain kind of contract, but you will not openly declare it because of the confusion it creates during September, which is a certain kind of completion. Some This contract was very much expected out of you and... It brings something to conclusion, a certain struggle to uh, conclusion and then which will bring some kind of new creativity, new abundance in your life, some new abundance in, the, in your life in the sense that you are more happy about this contract but then you still uh, don't want to reveal this to the rest of the world because you feel that people are not ready to accept it, especially your family uh, picking up from the previous month. And then uh, we have fair decision, which is the justice card, which is telling that whatever you have done by signing this contract was 
the right thing it was supposed to be done uh, you have delayed it very, for a very long time because of lot of other factors but now uh, this is the right thing that you have done but then you definitely don't want to go all over the place with the news in the open uh, system that you don't want to tell it to people that you have signed this contract maybe professional maybe romantic contract we don't know maybe a marriage i don't know depending on your situation now what do we have in october mountain lady and tree so there were some restrictions let me uh, pick the tarot for being sure of what i am picking up helper of abundance three of abundance healer of emotions okay so what i feel here is that there's a long term relationship with this person this lady here and you are able to develop this long term relationship after crossing a mountain it was very tough to reach here you almost had to climb a huge mountain to build this long term relationship with this or the contract that we possibly see whether it's a professional contract or a marriage contract or any other kind of contract that you signed in the last month it is probably with this lady and uh, if you are a female then possibly this is a male card then depending on your circumstances and your gender because if it's a uh, romantic kind of relationship then this can be a man but uh, in all other situations this could be a woman also so just put it into your situation and decide the gender of this person so you have signed this contract with this person and it's going to stay here for long term this relationship and you have reached here by lot of struggle and now what is happening is that the three of abundance is that you both are building something together you are enjoying this new journey of creating something together and there are other people who are trying to help you and give you some emotional guidance and emotional financial help to build whatever you are seeking to build right now so you are getting a lot of emotional and financial help from all over the place right now now in november we have flowers rat and coffin something is which was eating your mind which was eating your peace of mind which is like the flowers is like happy go lucky kind of situation like you are very peaceful and blissful something was bothering you in the past uh in november that will come to an end something which was uh always bothering you seeking your uh, attention will come to end somebody who was uh, seeking your attention in the most negative way in a most uh, blackmailing kind of way like something of that kind slowly and steadily poisoning you every day little by little that person will suddenly vanish from your life in november which is good because of the flowers here is something that you will come to the blissful state once again because something which was both trying to destroy the flower slowly and da daily every day is going to die now it is a symbolic death don't expect somebody dying but it's almost like coming to an end that kind of situation is coming to an end then we have eight of thoughts eight of emotions two eights together wow let's see what do we have next guardian of abundance
okay this rat this mice here whatever you call this card different uh, authors call one some rat or mice whatever it is uh, this mice was putting a lot of restrictions on your peace of mind but now this person is moving away this eight of swords is restrictions and eight of cups of or eight of emotions like moving away so this person is moving away only to help you to become little more mature in terms of your emotions now you find your grounding now you find your uh, emotions little more matured because nobody is bothering you you can sit alone and decide and reflect upon your past and see where you want to go further in a more happy and blissful way so that is for november and now let's see what we have for finally for december 2021 cancer so we have clover we have dog we have whip okay i feel that uh, you have a fear that whatever has left you in number whatever negative energy has left you in number will come back, will not leave you that easily. But then there is a friend who will come and give you some kind of information or some kind of guidance or some kind of revelation that whatever was going on with that mice kind of person in your life is all ended completely. You And you will feel like... Okay, now I am finally pe feeling relaxed, finally feeling more happier. You feel little more grounded now with the energy of Clover here. So this dog is like a friend who is coming to help you from all the mental stress coming from the past that this person may come back, this person may irritate me this person may blackmail me again but finally you will realize that everything is over and done then we have 10 of thoughts which is like end of some very painful thing with five of emotions that the ending comes in a way that you feel little sad you feel little bad like it could have ended a little better Although you are safe and sound and you are feeling lucky, but you feel bad for the other person. And then we have messenger of action, which is like new beginnings about a new opportunity, new passion, new hobby. You will try to start something new with someone else now, possibly with this friend. So that is your reading for December. Thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know how things turn out. Keep uh, coming back to this video because this will help you to reflect upon things. Although this is a general reading. Uh, but still. And keep updating me about how things turned out. It will be really helpful for me also. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye bye. Namaste.